On Monday morning, preachers resign about twice a month. And then you go, what am I going to do? And you look back, I'm just like the disciples. I know what I'm going to do. I'll get up, I'll keep going, and if I know what I'm supposed to do, God always does the rest. But as they drew near, Jesus stepped right up and, and He stood right there in the midst of them and they didn't know Him. I want to ask you this morning, how many times when you're doubting, is God right there? Jesus is right there. He's on scene. He's in control. And we don't even recognize Him because we're doubting Him. I believe that I have never been anywhere that Jesus hadn't already walked. I don't believe anything that's ever happened to me, Jesus didn't let happen or didn't make happen to either make me who I need to be or to correct what I've become. Amen. God is already on scene. And I'm doubting Him. And the whole time He's breathing on my neck going, Hey, son, what are you doing? I believe if Jesus created me and Jesus called me to preach, He's got to have a sense of humor. I believe he said, watch this, these old boys fixing to get it. <laughs> I believe he stepped up and he said, I'm fixing to get it. And, and folks, some of y'all, some people just can't, they, they, that makes them shiver when I talk about Jesus that way. Folks, I'm telling you something, Jesus is my Savior. It says he's a friend that's closer than a brother. It says that he's, he, he's my Savior. He's my mediator. Folks, I believe Jesus wants us to have that type of relationship with Him. And I believe when you meet Him, after we get over the awe, you know what I'm talking about? You walk up and you see the scars, the, the scars in His hands and the pierced side. We're going to all have some awe and we're going to be on our faces for a couple thousand years. But then we're going to stand up and He's going to be our brother then. Equal. You say, I can't believe that. The Bible says that hey, we will be brothers and sisters of Christ with one God. I'm a rat and raving. Stacy calls and I chew her up from one side and down the other. She has nothing to do with it. And I'm sitting there and the whole time, I believe this with all my heart. Jesus is looking at God going, you know I did die for Him. <laughs> and God, you know that He's covered by blood. He's hey, just an idiot like the rest of us. But I did say it, and I think Jesus has to do that a lot with me. And the whole time Jesus is going, keep digging your hole, boy. Keep digging your hole. These disciples kept digging a hole deeper and deeper and deeper. And then as they dug the hole, they said, well, he was, he was a great prophet. He was a, he, and God protected him. And then they said, but we trusted in him that he would save us. He would save the children of Israel. And then... He went and died on us and they crucified Him. And now you got some women running around saying He's rose from the dead and we just don't know what to believe. How stupid can you be? Everything that had been taught just took place and they still didn't believe. I want to ask you this this morning. How many times have you been told? How many times have you been shared the Gospel? How many times Christians have you known and been there when you know God will take care of us, and we still doubt Him, and we still don't believe Him. Through life for those years to know what I go through, He knows me. He knows everything about us, so He knows what you're going through. I don't, but He does. 